Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna to check it out the new iPhone 14 Pro Max wallpaper in Photoshop. So the first step, I'm gonna press Control N, and this way it's gonna create a new file. We're gonna select, we're gonna to go to the here to the mobile, and I gotta go with iPhone X. I'm gonna uncheck the artboard, make it vertical, click on create. From here, I gotta go and select the ellipse tool. I'm gonna select the black color or gray or something like that. I'm gonna press and hold shift. Create perfect circle. I'm gonna position it to the center, press control T, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. Now I'm gonna need to find the half, you know, like where it's perfect center in here. So I'm gonna go and select the slice tool. I'm gonna select it, right click, divide slice. I'm gonna check divide horizontal into, I'm gonna type in two, click OK. And now I'm gonna position it right here on the top. From here, I'm gonna go and select the rectangle and I'm gonna create a rectangle right here. Good. Now I'm gonna convert this to smart object. I'm gonna select both the shapes, right click, convert to smart object. I'm gonna rename this as top. And I'm gonna paint the background. I'm gonna select the paint bucket tool, select the black color. I'm gonna paint it black. Now here comes the complicated part. Actually, this is gonna be a little bit simpler. I'm gonna drag the top to the little plus to create a new copy. I'm gonna double click on the top copy. Gonna go to color overlay, select lighter color, click on OK. And I'm gonna press the upper arrow. So it's gonna go a little bit more up like this. So as you can see, this is gonna be the shiny part that's gonna create the three-dimensional side of the shape. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna re rename this as bottom part. I'm gonna double click on the bottom part and I'm gonna activate the gradient overlay. I'm gonna click here. And now I'm gonna drag the white here in the center. And I can select the black, I can press and hold Alt, drag it to the left. So this way it's gonna create a copy. And I can press and hold Alt again, drag it somewhere here like that. And I gotta double click and I gotta paste Control V this color code. So click OK. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag this to the opposite side, somewhere around here. And then I'm gonna double click on this white. And I'm gonna paste Control V. So this is gonna be this yellow. Click OK, click OK, and click OK. Now we got this light edge going on here. I'm gonna rename it as bottom edge. So now I'm gonna try to recreate this fill right here. So I'm gonna create a new layer with this and I'm gonna select the brush. I'm gonna right click on the brush, increase the size. And I also gonna increase the hardness of the brush. And I'm gonna go click somewhere around here. So as you can see here, the size is on 1,376. The hardness is on 61. And this result is pretty good. And now I'm gonna press and hold control and go to the top copy here, which we created and click here on the thumbnail. As you can see, it changed to the little hand. And as you can see, it's gonna highlight this shape and we're gonna mask it. Click on the mask. You also can change this by unlinking it. You just select this thumbnail right here and you can change it however you like eventually, but in our case, it's pretty good. What I gotta do is rename it as black, fill, good. I'm gonna drag it down to the little plus to create a new copy. This is gonna be the black fill on the top. And I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna rename this as orange. So what I'm gonna do is unlink this. I'm gonna select this thumbnail and I'm gonna bring it up a little more. And now I'm gonna double click, go to color overlay. And we're gonna copy paste brighter orange. Click OK, click OK. Now I'm gonna work with this thumbnail again. I'm gonna bring it up actually a little more. I'm gonna press Control T and I'm gonna drag it and distort it, something like this. I think this looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna drag and drop this. I'm gonna remove the copy here. Orange fill, I'm gonna go here with yellow. And I'm gonna bring, click on the thumbnail and bring this even more upper. I'm gonna double click on the FX, go back, color overlay. 
and I'm gonna select some brighter yellow maybe something like this click OK click OK so this is the bottom edge I'm just gonna rename this as bottom fill I don't know I'm gonna double click on the FX color overlay and I'm gonna copy paste control V this code click OK and it looks something like this um, I'm thinking that the black is a little bit harsh the black fill and I'm planning to drag this to the little plus create a new one I'm gonna right click convert a smart object I gotta go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna increase the blur a little more I'm gonna do it with uh, 120 click OK so I'm gonna check without or with yeah, it's going to go beyond, you know, the shape, which is not that good. Where's the shape? Bottom shape. We're going to need the bottom shape. There you go. I'm going to press and hold control. Click on this bottom fill. So it's going to highlight the shape and I'm going to go back to the back fill copy and mask it. Uh, black fill blur. So now we got the top one with the colors. I'm going to select from the top, press and hold shift, go all the way to the bottom edge click and press ctrl G to group it I'm gonna rename this as orange uh, one important thing you're gonna go to the orange and check this out we got a big problem not everything is linked so these are linked you need to link them back this is crucially important you need to link them back so I'm gonna drag the orange down to the little plus I created a new new copy I'm gonna drag the orange copy under the orange I'm gonna double click rename it as gray and I'm gonna drag it down, press and hold shift. If those layers would be unlinked, I could drag it out, but some of the colors, some of the elements and the layers would remain there, you know, some like with the mask. I'm gonna press and hold shift, rotate it. There we go. I'm gonna bring it up, press and hold shift to make everything perfect. And I'm gonna position it right here. Whew, there we go. Now I'm gonna go back to the gray. Now we got all the options. We just need to change the colors and that's it. So first I'm gonna go to the bottom edge, double click on the FX, gradient overlay, click on the gradient. And I'm gonna double click on the orange. I'm gonna press Control V and copy paste this color. So it's gonna be like a gray bluish color. Click OK. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, Control V. By the way, I'm gonna leave in the description these color codes so you can copy and paste. The same exact color codes and I'm gonna double click on the center one control V click OK click OK and click OK and now we're gonna do the same thing with the rest so this is the bottom fill I'm gonna double click color overlay this is the light press control V it's gonna enter the lighter one OK OK now we got this one I'm gonna uncheck it actually and I'm gonna go to the orange fill. I'm gonna double click. Of course, you're gonna need to rename the layers, but we won't do this right now. I'm gonna double click on this. Color overlay, control V. Okay, okay. And mainly it should look something like this. Now, and of course on this area, it contain a slight amount of orange, but we won't add that one right now. You can also make uh, this gray a little bit more blurry. A right click, convert a smart object filter click on Gaussian blur oh that's nice click OK I'm gonna press and hold control we're gonna go to the bottom field click on the bottom field thumbnail there you go go to the orange mask it oh that looks way better actually look at that and mainly this is how you do the iPhone 14 Max Pro uh, wallpaper in Photoshop Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye